did everything. All right, guys, we're back in Solo Learn doing jQuery, manipulate the DOM. Now, last time we talked about this a little bit and what that basically means. The DOM is the do document object model. There's a nice chart here, but basically it just means that you treat the document, the HTML document is what it's referring to, and then all the stuff that goes down is the objects and you interact with it. That's basically all that means. Now, what kind of structure does the DOM have? It's a tree structure. So what it, you have the document that roots down to the, the HTML tag, which then roots down to other things. And so you have parent and child relationship, which basically means like a UL has an LI within it. And uh, that's kind of what it refers to. DOM, my, my cat's tearing stuff up over here, guys. All right, DOM traversal. <laughs> As we just basically talked, you have your HTML in the body, and the H1s are contained within the body, etc., etc. Now, uh, elements that share the same parent are called siblings. jQuery has many powerful tools for DOM traversal. The parent method refers to direct element. For example, if we called the parent on here, let's go ahead and see it in action, because I haven't actually used the parent method quite some time. So we're checking the parent of our paragraph tag, which is going to be the div element. So what's happening here is we're saying, look, grab the parent of this tag and set some CSS to it. That's pretty cool. Just gonna leave that, close face our Facebook group, Code Tech and Caffeine. Go ahead and check it out in the description below if you wanna join a nice Facebook group. Now, what is the parent of the uh, P element? I believe it should be this LI because it's nested within. So see how it's nested? That's how you know it's the parent. Now the parent uh, method can only go up a single level apparently. So if you wanted to get all the all the uh, ancestor elements or the parent elements, you would then use parents. You can also get the children as well as the siblings. The next one, all the siblings, there's a lot of these. Parent, children, that's really the bulk of what you're gonna need to do. So if we want to call the hide items. So we're setting a very oops, excuse me. We're setting a variable here called items. Let's start there. And we want to target the div element and call hide method on all the siblings. So siblings. And then we want to, so we're storing that value in a variable, the item we're targeting. And then we want to go ahead and say items.hide to hide all that div siblings. So EQ2. The index number starts at zero. So the EQ one dot text. So if you only want to select one at a time, you can use EQ, which is kind of interesting. So we have uh, alert the paragraph EQ1. So I starts at zero, so that this is the first one. So I believe it should output uh, one, B. The reason it does that is just like an array, it starts on the zero index. So if you were to break this paragraph tags into an array, you have paragraph one, or index zero, which is A, index one, which is B, and then index three, which is C. Removing elements. You also do the same thing with remove. So say, let's say you want to remove an element from the DOM or basically from the page. You can do that like so. So uh, remove, fill in the blanks to remove all siblings of the element with the ID text. So go ahead and pass in this, your selector, hashtag text. And we're re remove, I'm gonna select the siblings dot remove. And we can do it just like that in one statement. You don't need to break it up in a variable. It's helpful to break things up into variables because that will allow you to target it for other things if needed. So the empty method will remove child elements from the HTML. So if we say div.empty, what this is gonna do is basically clear it out. That's essentially the gist of it, clear the DOM. So fill in the blanks to empty the second child of the element with the ID nav. So we, we're gonna first go ahead and store the, the value that we're looking for, which is nav. And then we want to get, um, 
the children, siblings, no, it's children. And then we want to target the second one, and then we want to empty it. Oh, the second one would be the um, the one index, excuse me. So again, that's uh, the ID nav, and then we're going to get the children, and then we're going to get index one, and then we're going to empty it. There we go. And let's jump into the module four quiz. How many siblings does the paragraph element with ID text have in the following uh, HTML? Hmm, this is interesting because I'm not sure if it counts the ID text. I, I believe it should have two siblings because here they're within the same scope here of this div, if you will. So I'm gonna go with two. There we go. Fill in the blank, select the first child. So we have to put in our uh, jQuery selector tag. And then we want the first child of the element. So that's the index zero. And then fill in the blanks to remove all the children of the paragraph tag. So select paragraphs, children. And from there, remove them. And last but not least, what is the output of the following code? We want to alert the paragraph parent so we, we have a paragraph tag here. The parent of that is the div, and the siblings of that div is the paragraph 0.txt, which is 1. I think that's right. Oh, my god. All right, so select the paragraph's parent's siblings, which is the div here. Oh, OK, so the paragraph tag's parent is the div. It's siblings, meaning it's at the same level is this div and then go ahead and output the zero index which is two here so all right it should be two there we go Whew. that was a little bit of a lot going on in that <laughs> uh makes sense though so we saw basically how you can use parent child siblings to target the dom add the dom add to the dom remove from the dom and all this other great things sometimes you may just want to get values as we saw earlier in there moving forward we're going to do events these are going to be kind of cool to make your page pop out a little bit when you click something stuff happens when you hover over stuff stuff happens but as always guys thanks for watching if you want to support me go to patreon.com slash coding tutorials 360 and if you want more uh be part of a community go to code tech and caffeine our facebook group you can get the the i the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding bootcamp, check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.